on today's episode. Welcome. Here are show repairs I've done and share the techniques and tools that I use. If you find this video valuable or even entertaining, uh, please subscribe as it really helps. It's great to get your feedback, so leave a comment below and don't forget to hit that like button. Also check out the description below because there'll be additional information and some useful links. So I'm going to be flashing the uh, Open WRT firmware onto this uh, NEXX WT3020 router. Now, why? That's a good question. Uh, well, what is OpenWRT? It's, um, it's a Linux distribution, uh, which uh, essentially means that it ch is not just a router OS, it is a full Linux distribution in its own right, uh, which turns the, the router into a, a, a mini or possibly micro computer, if you will. So, you know, if, you, if you've um, played around with uh, uh, Linux, uh, Unix type systems, and you'll be familiar with editors like Vi and running scheduled tasks via the cron, and all of that will work under WRT, open WRT. So it um, makes it an extremely flexible platform. Um, included with the distribution is a, a full package manager, and that means that you can choose from, I believe, over 2,000 different pack packages to perform specific tasks such as maybe port forwarding, extra security, um, secure shells, that, that kind of thing. And there's a, a, a software repository where you can go and uh, download and uh, pick and mix essentially the, the, the features and functions that, uh, that you want to try. For me, um, I have one particular thing I want to, to try it with first, and that is uh, with my new, uh, new to me uh, DSLR camera. I quite like the idea of being able to control it over, over Wi-Fi um, using something like the um, DSLR dashboard Android app, and that can be done only um, by putting w open WRT onto the, onto the router. So the connection from the app, the Android, to the router is, is obviously Wi-Fi and then a USB cable from the router to the camera to, to control it. Uh, so that's what I'm going to be doing in a, in a future video. So for my OpenWRT project, um, I have found uh, via the internet, obviously, uh, the, the wiki for it. And there's a dedicated uh, page here for the WT3020 router and there's all sorts of, uh, of good information here. A look inside and a description of the various parts and how to connect to it uh, via serial port should you need to. And as we scroll on down what appeared to me to be the easiest uh, route um, is uh, to follow these instructions here. So we can get hold of a copy of the appropriate um, firmware for our unit. Uh, in, in my case, it's the the eight eight meg uh, version, and shows us here how to uh, install it. So uh, we'll go to the selected link, and we're presented with um, all sorts of of goodness. Um, but if we scroll right down to the bottom, as uh, as is normal in life, the the last things are left to the end. Um, we can find the files that we need. So this is the, the factory.bin which should work with the factory installed firmware to upgrade it to OpenWRT and uh, it's the 8 meg version that we need. So we'll grab a hold of that. So uh, we can see that we have our file, so now we'll get connected to the router and install it. So now I have the uh, NEXX uh, router connected via a cable as, uh, as uh, suggested into the LAN port. And we can see here that it uh, is in fact connected. And if we look at the status, we can see the default gateway is 8.1. So we should be able to get to there. I've disconnected the uh, Wi-Fi on here, so 
we can go now to 192.8.1 and still using the default passwords and in the advanced settings system tools upgrade firmware so we will browse to our download directory and the open WRT and upgrade so as we can see the system is now rebooting um, but it's not going to come back to the, to that address um, let's go back into our network connections I can see the status light on the front of the router is just flashing at the moment and it's identified it still as the next router let's have a look at the status that's interesting it's come back as 8.1 so what's happened there let's go back to our browser so that doesn't appear to be responding Ah, so now now this is different. So now we have the 192.168.1 as our default gateway. Not quite sure what happened after it was rebooting there for a moment. So getting back to our browser, if we now go to dot .1 one we are indeed presented with the open WRT password request. So uh, it's, uh, it's definitely worked. So it tells us there's no password and indeed we can log in and we'll get that changed and then move on to uh, looking at some other things that we can do now that we have the open WRT uh, firmware installed.